Okay, in this lesson and other videos, we are talking about uh, cameras in Cinema, for, in Cinema 4D and we'll be introduced in detail all of these cameras and its settings. They have the same setting, but some additional setting, uh, they have some additional setting. First, we click on camera. Uh, first, as you can see, if we don't have any camera, we are in a default camera. As you can see, the software tells <coughs> us that we are in a default camera that you can navigate on your scene. But if you want to more professional and render, you need a camera. And you want to, if you want to access a lot of in, um, important settings, you have to insert the camera from here, camera. And as you can see, a yellow uh, box uh, um, appear around the viewport and it says, hey, you are selecting a camera. If you deselect, as you can see, it's turned to, <clears throat> I think a dark blue, a light blue. If you select it, as you can see in this uh, camera, we have uh, this shape here. If you click on it, it turn to the it turn on, and it means we are inside our camera. Camera number one, camera number two, default camera, uh, uh, first camera that we insert. If you click on it, and as you can see, and then scroll back, and as you can see, we are in def default camera, and this is our. Uh, other camera that we inserted in a scene. As you can see, you can uh, move it and move it anywhere that you want. Uh, I want to tell you something interesting. Mm, for example, if you go to the window and what was that? Uh, sorry, in a panel, uh, in old version, it was there, but it's in a panel now and you can create a new view panel like this and as you can see it's a new view panel that it's in a default camera it's in a default camera you have to go to view and no i think you have to go camera use camera and then uh, use the default camera your camera that you selected and as you can see if you select your camera in this scene <coughs> or uh, as you can see in this scene, if you move your camera, you can, in this view, you can see your camera. It's a way that you can handling your scene if you want. Okay, this is our camera. You can insert any camera from <coughs> default view. For example, you want a camera in this angle, set your uh, default camera here and then click the camera go inside that and then outside and as you can see we create from that view of default camera a new camera and <clears throat> we have two cameras in our scene for going back to your camera you have to click on this and now you are going to scene. and as you can see if you don't want to see this um, shapes of the camera you can be click and uh, delete it from um, up disappearing from the viewport Okay, this is our camera. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, if you go to select the camera, we have uh, lots of tab here that I want to explain them one by one. The basic and the coordination are the same. The object, we have lots of sitting here. And the physical detail and 3D, the stereoscopic and other. I want to, in this lesson, focus on objects and explain them. But uh, in the camera, you can select your camera and simply rotate your camera like this if you want. Nice? You can rotate it. Uh, I will be explaining what are these um, handles. Another camera that is exactly like our <clears throat> default camera is a target camera. And as you can see, this is our target camera. The main difference of this camera to the other cameras is that it has a target tag here. And as you can see, this is a target tag here. It's a null object. If you select it, it's a null object that you can change it to sphere, <clears throat> make it bigger to see it. As you can see, this is our target here. You can make it bigger. This is our target. Uh, the camera always focus to that target and you can move it and you can move your um, camera with any direction that you want if you go to your camera 
And as you can see, it always rotates and you cannot pan. As you can see, you cannot holding alt and middle mouse button, you cannot pan. Just it's focused on a target. And as you can see, you can you have to just move the target to moving your camera. In some cases, it's very interesting. As you can see, it's just only has a tag, <clears throat> a target tag here. That's it's very simple. So exactly, if you select it, it's exactly uh, the settings are the same, but it's the target tag here. You can use it if you want. Yeah, just delete it and go into our camera. Okay, this is our camera, and we are inside it. And let's talk about the uh projection it's a, a all kind of the camera this is a perspective the default camera in a real world is a perspective uh in a far from our uh camera are smaller than the uh near so in the real world perspective the another thing is a parallel as you can see the, everything is Mm, parallel to each other the all these angles are parallel and we don't have a perspective e effect as you can see all of sitting we turn on it's a parallel perspective and other <clears throat> you can going outside and as you can see uh, this is a perspective this is a parallel as you can see everything parallel to each other and this is a looks like this and in a parallel, we can just set a zoom. Let's go inside that to see that. As you can see, it's just zooming. It's just, it's just a, a, your scroll mouse zoom, or you can ha holding Alt and right click to zoom, zoom out and in. And I explain them uh, in a parallel, in a perspective. So you can go in left, and as you can see, it's, uh, mm, look at from the left it's very simple right back top button and it has some special military or anything as you can see you, in this situation you cannot uh, holding alt and uh, rotate it's fixed in this angle in this projection military uh, frog <laughs> frog eye i don't know why is this but gentleman it's a special angle that you can just pan your camera and isometric is most famous that you can create an isometric render if you want but we use <clears throat> or isometric games um isometric render it's a special angle of the camera the sitting does not change but it's there perspective is about our default and most important <clears throat> render the first uh, thing that we face here is a focal length the focal length look at this image you can better see uh, as you can see this is our subject and this is our camera this uh, from this uh, lens system and here is a focal length that if you change it we have some effects what effects Look at the number in millimeter. We have a lot of number of focal lengths. This is an uh, this is a field of view. How much of the scene that you can view? And you can simply see here uh, a lower number. For example, we have a mm, in this number is our default classic. As you can see, this is our scene. If you want to super wide angle, it means you can see more of that scene you have to choose the lower number of the uh, focal lengths and we have the uh, better view of our scene in this number we have the wide angle more scene and if you choose a higher number of the focal lengths in a millimeter we have the smaller number of the uh, field of view and it has a, a special normal length portrait and special name but it's vice versa it means if you select a higher number we can see a little part of the scene so if you want wide angle and see more of the scene you can choose them. you can see clearly 
the focal length effect here that you can choose it from here if you want more scene as you can see the names are here or you can change manually as you can see we are this is not zooming as you can see we are wide make wide or tight our, our field of view as you can see for example this is a default um, classic this is our scene for example we are here and for example from this angle you want to see more of the view without zooming out so you are going to change the focal length in lower number as you can see but be careful about these distortion effects at the side of the lens okay you can right click and select it and uh, uh, i don't want you mm, confusing you but the focal length sensor length uh, size lens is here sensor size i don't want to make it very mathematical but changing you can see effects this is not changing as you can see a higher number we have a, a lower number of field of view a smaller number we have a more field of view horizontal and vertical of your uh, scene that's it the, these numbers are dependent to each other and the zoom is turned on because it's just turned on in the parallel mode and you can zoom in out uh, we have an a special settings don't change them film offset and uh, x and uh, y if you are in a camera offset it in an x and as you can see it just with uh, the look at if you are, look at the behavior of the camera we have first thing that you can rotate it as you can see you can rotate your camera just it's rotate the view but the camera is here, but it changed the, uh, this offset the lens and we have distortion effect. Look at this. As you can see, the, the, this box is constant and we rotate it. It caused some distortion. As you can see, we have some distortion perspective here. Okay. As you can see here so don't use it but a main usage of this it's it's very mathematical but it's here for example you have a very large scene in a pixels that you cannot render it at uh, one try you can select a um, simple scene or box over here number one and then offset your camera in a direction to render it we don't use it very often but it's there if you want you can use it it's offset film offset in z and uh, x and y <clears throat> in the next lesson i explain the focus distance because i have to explain it it is all about depth of field dof the famous thing in a physical, I have to explain F stop, and in a detail, I have to explain them together in one lesson called Depth of Field in Cine 40. So I pass it, and it's very simple. I explain it two ways that you can create depth of field. <clears throat> uh, white balance. The white balance in the Kelvin is changing the color of your camera. We have two things. As I said before, if you go to the lighting in uh, general, if you open it here, as you can see, use the temperature. If you turn it on, you can change the uh, warm or cooler the color of the uh, light with the temperature. So, uh, this source are emitting the light and the light is going through the camera and the camera analyzes it. So, in a camera, we, we don't have any lighting, but it's receiving a light. So you can change the white balance. You can make it the blue or warmer color with changing the Kelvin's number here. Look at this image. As you can see, we have a simple scene that we change the number of the Kelvin's in camera. We don't change the lights, just changing the, the uh, temperature in uh, receiving in camera the light receiving in camera 
So don't forget to affecting the white balance in your scene. You have to change all of your uh, color camera to use temperature. <clears throat> in this way, that you can affect your uh, camera effect. Don't change them. Use all about uh, use just lights to changing the white balance. And after that, you can go to third party or I mean another software like new after effects or photoshop and changing the white balance there and of course if you want an effect uh, lights only if you want you can activate it and don't forget to export to compositing it's very important if you want to composite post production things in after effect unique we have to export it if you don't want you can turn it off Okay, this is all about the sitting in the first lesson to camera. It's very simple. And in the next lesson, I want to explain DOF for uh, using how to focus distance. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.